everybody is a star. Just a and everybody wants to shine. But who will come out on a cloudy day? Oh, yeah. Tis the sun that loves you, down. Ain't no stopping to disturb You don't need nothing to do what you think is right. La 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 Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Thank y'all. I was just texting um, to see if I can try to do a live stream tonight, see if I get some some um, conversational. Anyway, I'm back today with some of this history, which is why I feel that some of us are so, so, so ignorant. Because out of all of our studies, history is best to reward those studies. History will allow you to, and I think that's a quote by Malcolm X or something like that. But history is what most of y'all don't know. And most of us don't take the time because y'all is, you know, microwave blunt babies and it takes take too long. But you have to learn how to slow down. You got to learn how to slow down because the more you know, you know, the more you know you don't know. And um, you can just relax and just kind of listen to something because some of this stuff is just regurgitated information. You know, nothing is new under the sun. Just a different time, different day. History repeats itself. And that's very important for all the young people out there to know that. But let me um, share this with y'all because this is from my great brother, Dr. Claude Anderson and his dirty little secrets. His dirty little secrets. I love Dr. Claude Anderson. I love his work. And I think this is real simple. Uh, a simple history book. Won't give you a whole lot of reading for the, all those of y'all who scare the pages. You only got like about 225 or 250 pages. And it's not a lot with big type set, so it won't hurt your eyes or nothing, you won't strain. But why don't you purchase this, Dirty Little Secrets, um, all, um, about black history as heroes and other troublemakers. Okay, because I love this book. It's a very good book. But anyway, check this out. First black born in America was not a slave. In 1619, an unknown Dutch frigate brought 20 blacks from Africa to Jamestown, Virginia, where sailors traded them into indentured servitude in exchange for food, water, and ship supply. By early 1624, the first black child, William, was born to a black couple, Anthony and Isabella Tucker, in Elizabeth City, Virginia. Shortly after William's birth, the Tuckers took him back to Jamestown to be baptized in a local church of England. Thus, William, the first African born in the American colony, had the double first honor of also being the first black to be baptized. Hmm. Equally noteworthy was the fact that he was born at a time when neither he nor his parents were considered slaves. After the Tuckers arrived on the Dutch warship, they were traded into indentured servitude for approximately three to four years. By the time of William's birth, they were out of servitude and intermingling with white immigrants just arriving to the colony. Formal slavery did not start in the Americas until another 40 years after William's birth, but records were not kept on blacks, so it is unclear what happened to William or his parents of the first black baby born 
in America. How about that, y'all? How about it? The first black born in America was not even a slave. Contrary to a lot of y'all, what a lot of y'all think. And I'm talking mostly to my counterparts or my um, uh, uh, um, white brothers and sisters. A lot of y'all don't even know some of this history. And the history, history that you get out the history book is so diluted and so um, inaccurate that it's almost a travesty that that's the only thing that you, most of the things that you're reading from to get an education and to get a degree. It's, in fact, a travesty that you have to regurgitate his story without understanding our story and not taking black studies as an elective or none of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm talking about to really get a good grasp on how we got here. It's very important that you know these things. It really is. And along with that, I'm going to tell you about the first Thanksgiving, okay? Because that's very important. Thanksgiving is the holiday on which we thank God for his bounty and his blessings. Thanksgiving with his displays of pumpkins and pilgrims is one way Americans proclaim their love for their country. Yet, the true origin of Thanksgiving and its celebration reveal an unsettling combination of myths and facts. First of all, the pilgrims did not introduce the tradition. American Indians observed autumn harvest celebrations for centuries before the first Europeans arrived on the continent. Second of all, although George Washington set aside days for national thanksgiving, it was President Abraham Lincoln who proclaimed the day as a national holiday back in 1863. Ironically, this was the same year that he issued his historic Emancipation Proclamation which symbolically at least freed more than 5 million black people from slavery. Although the first official November Thanksgiving for the first holiday that all black people in America were able to give thanks for being free from the chains of servitude, no public connection was made between the two events. Lincoln did not make any religious connections to the Thanksgiving holiday. His motives were purely nationalistic. Having divided the nation over the slavery issue and the ensuing civil war, Lincoln felt the Union needed all the patriotic fervor um, that such a holiday observance could engender. While, so while black people were the primary justification for proclaiming a national Thanksgiving holiday, no symbolic forms of blackness have ever been associated with the national with the holiday of Thanksgiving, and not until after the 1890s were American Indians, well Native Americans, included in the tradition. Moreover, no one used the term pilgrim until the late 1870s. Probably about, uh, probably the only truth about Thanksgiving, as it is commonly practiced is that it started off as homage to patriotism and has remained as such today. So that's the only thing that's still truthful about um, Thanksgiving. Otherwise, like everything else, it's kind of a distorted display um, of really what the actual facts are. Okay, y'all, if y'all, you know, leave me your comments. Tell me what you think about the first black that was born in America that wasn't a slave. Okay, did you know about this story? Had I mean, did you think that all babies that were born here were slaves automatically? Tell me what you know about that, or did you know that? Or was that a valuable piece of information? How about the first Thanksgiving as well? Okay, um, and what the origin of that is of. All right, if you like what you hear, Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to be back with another video. Thank you.